could answer your question, but it wouldn't be the truth. You whispered it in my ear between the dollar-only jukebox and the video pinball machine, and the words that you whispered were, do you want to play some pool? And I knew that that meant, are you in love with me? <laughs> Although in those words, what you want to know doesn't mean anything. In love, preposition noun means nothing. It has no literal definition, and I have never been so aware of it as I am since I met you. See, this is what we like about it. This is the intriguing appeal, the airy void of truth in which the beauty of it lives, the magic of preposition noun in love, which we call magic for the same reason they call it magic when Chris Angel produces blonde twins from under a sheet on a flaming balance beam in mid-air. We call it magic, not because we're amazed that that just happened, but because we know it didn't, but it still looks so real. We long to be in love above all other things, not because it makes us feel good. It doesn't! <laughs> fulfilled or secure. It's not for the sex, the biological imperative that love only serves to confuse or the sharing of a two-for-one burrito or a reliable discount on opera tickets for couples. We long to be in love because those two words together mean nothing. And humans are defined first and foremost not by fear of loneliness, but by fear of boredom. And being in love gives you a puzzle you will always want to work on, but will never never be able to solve. So I could answer your question. I could tell you that I'm in love with you and be your puzzle and request that you be mine, or that I am not in love with you, which would be the same as saying that I am not in glue or coal or any word with you. I'm sorry, sweetheart, I'm just not in filibuster with you. I could say nothing, anything. So I lean into your ear and what I want to say is, I love you. I love you. Without preposition. I love you. Verb. What I want to say is, I want to sleep at the foot of your bed. That when I see you getting tired, I want to turn myself into a wider, softer object for you to lay down on. That when I see you getting cold, I want to tear up the carpets to have something warm to wrap around you. That if the sky opened up above me tonight and a voice boomed down so loud and bright and powerful that I had no physical choice but to believe it and told me that tonight, in this moment, I could trade every second of happiness in my life, from now until the end of it, in exchange for you always being safe and warm, I would do it without thinking for a second. What I'm going to say is, yes, whatever the fuck you want to ask me, yes. <laughs>